Stelios Kazantzidis was born 29 August 1931 in Nea Ionia, Athens. His parents were refugees from southern Turkey as a result of the Greco-Turkish War of 1922. Life was tough. Not only did he grow up during World War II, but the ensuing civil war saw his father tortured and killed due to his communistic ideals. Stelio was only 13, and being the eldest son, took on the responsibility of providing for the family. He took whatever job he could find, baggage carrier, selling roasted nuts, a labourer, and even sold water. It was at 15, while working at the Lanatex factory, that fate stepped in. His boss, hearing him sing during work hours, called him into his office and gave him a guitar. He played it religiously, and within a couple of years, he appeared at a club in Kifisia. Soon after, he made his first audio recording at 21 years old. The first song didn't do too well, but the second, Ivalitsis, did. Na paris tis valitesu, na pasalu na zisis, na paris... Soon he collaborated with Vasilis Tsitsanis and turned obscure songs such as Sinefiasmeni Kiriaki and Bakse Tsifliki into standards. But he was a more than competent songwriter in his own right, penning songs such as Ziguala, Zinguala, Zinguala, Zinguala. Το τελευταίο βράδυ μου. Μια πλοή, σαν λουλουδί, κάποιο χέρι θα μας κόψει. And many, many more hits. Although wildly popular in Greece, it is perhaps his fans outside of Greece that made him who he was. He was the voice of pain for everyone who had migrated from Greece. He understood their poverty-written roots, their feelings of injustice and powerlessness in a cruel, heartless world. His voice played every note on their heartstrings. He was also a man who stood up for himself and what he believed in. In 1965, at the height of his career, he decided to stop nightclub appearances. It was a decision he held till the day he died. In 1973, after a major comeback that saw him back at the top of the charts, he took a leave from recording, accusing his label of colonial-like contracts. And you thought George Michael was the first. He passed of a brain tumour in 2001 and was awarded a state funeral through the streets of Elefsina. The outpouring of grief on a national level was overwhelming. So this weekend, ransack your parents' and grandparents' music stash vinyl, tape, whatever it might be. Find the name Kazanziri and discover not only a true musical wonder, but a part of your family history.